Hey guys, welcome to Stuffbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your Bootstrap website onto Google Cloud Platform. There are two things we're going to make here today. One is a staging site, which will be on a subdomain, and the main website. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Now let's begin. So let's go to our Google Cloud Platform. Let's go to products and services. Scroll down to your storage and click on browser. So from here, let's create a bucket. Put your domain name. This is important because you want to put your actual website address. In my case, we're going to create a staging site. As long as you put your um, actual domain name here, this should be fine. Storage class should be multi-regional if you want the website to be easily accessible on the web. So now let's create it. The next thing we want to do is upload our files. We can either click upload files, upload folder, or just simply drag and drop. I'm going to drag and drop it. It's just easier. First, let me check how my website's going to look. I double click that. Okay, it shows my path, which is on my local folder. This is how it's going to look. All right, this looks good. Just a quick note, this is just a sample website. It's not a real website that I'm planning to put up. So it's just for demo purposes. Let's go back to my bucket. All you gotta do is select all your files and drag it to this circle. It uploaded all 48 files. Let's close that. Let's go back to our bucket. So the next thing we want to do is we want it to be publicly accessible. So normally we click share publicly one by one. Uh, but in this case, we do have a lot of files and we have a lot of folders. So it's going to take us a while to actually make them all publicly available. There is a faster way, I'll show you. Let's go back to our bucket. Click this three dots and edit bucket permissions. Here we want to add all users. And the role needs to be viewer. So let's click this. And you want to click add. Okay, on the bottom here, it says that it applied that permission. Let's click hide info panel. Now let's double check if the website is indeed shared publicly. Let's click on this. And you can see it's now shared publicly. Let's go back. So the next thing we want to do is we want to point the index file of our website. Click this three dots again. Click edit website configuration and simply type your index file you can add a 404 page if you have one in my case I don't have one and click save and that's it so now what you want to do is um, change your C name on your website. You can do this from your domain provider. In my case, Google is my domain provider. Let me show you my DNS. Scroll down to where all your research records are. 
So I'll type in my subdomain. Change this to C name. And type in this text. This text is in the description below. Click add. Now all you have to do is uh, wait for a few minutes to let it propagate on the internet. So now let's go check our website. I'm going to open my tab. Okay, there it is. I can click the about, click products, and store. Alright, so now that we've created the staging website, what I want to do is edit my final website, and then we'll upload the final website onto our root domain. Now I've edited some of the elements of this website. Let's view how it's going to look once I upload it. Okay, so uh, this is how it's going to look. Looking at the staging website, the one that's live right now. And then the one on my local folder. This is how it's going to look. It could look a lot better, but this is just for demo purposes. So now what, what we want to do is we, let's upload the final site to Google Cloud Platform. Let's go back to our bucket and now let's create a bucket. Type in your domain name. Similar procedure as the staging website multi original and your website name needs to be unique and I'm gonna click create so now we want to upload the website let's go back to my finder final site Drag your whole contents into that circle. Let's wait for it to upload. Okay, it's done. Let me close this. Let's go back to our bucket. So we now have the staging website and the root domain. So now similar situation as a staging website, we need to share these publicly. An easy way to do it is clicking this three dots, bucket permission, type in all users and storage object viewer. Don't forget to click add Now all users can view it. So let's hide the info panel. Let's just click this to make sure that it's been shared publicly. So now they are even the contents of these folders. So now let's point the index file. So Google knows which is our main website still hasn't changed still index click save and we're good so now we just have to edit the c name on our domain to make sure that our domain is pointing to our google storage to our domain we're just going to copy the same data here and put the three W's there, change it the C name and the data. Let's click add. Okay, let's go check our website and see if it's up. I'm just gonna open a different browser. Have Safari in there.
and there it is it's now up put the about compare that to the staging website this is the home page and we are done thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please write down in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe and hit like if this helped you see ya